Hi, I uh, stumbled upon this blog today that's supposedly written by uh, President Ahmadinejad. I think his first name is Mumad. I never hear anybody say his first name. They just always call him Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, he's president of Iran. Uh, he's got this blog. Uh, it claims that it's his. The, uh, the website is www.ahmadinejad.ir as in Ichabod Robert. Um... And it's kind of fascinating. He's talking about like his high school experience and all the troubles that his family had. His father was apparently a blacksmith and uh, talks about, you know, when Saddam Hussein uh, invaded his country in like the, uh, in the 80s, basically all the 80s, from what I understand, that was quite a war. But we don't talk about that war much anymore, do we? Um, but now it's coming back into, uh, it's becoming a hot topic again because now we're talking to Ahmadinejad about possibly helping us out here in Iraq, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how that's going to go, but uh, he's kind of interested in doing it. And I don't, you know, he's kind of got a little bit of an axe to grind, so to speak, um, with Saddam and the Iraqis in general. Um, Especially the Sunnis, which, you know, make up a good portion of the uh, Iraqi um, Muslims. So, um, I don't know how well that'll go. I don't know if we can just say, you know, just... I don't know what these talks are going to amount to. If we're just going to say, hey, uh, Mumad, uh, why don't you just take over this whole mess? You kind of, you know, we kind of take that, that border that goes between Iraq and Iran. Just kind of delete that, erase that. Just say this whole thing is Iran, and you got this segment over here called the Iraqi province, which is uh, which is your problem now. And uh, if you could just take care of this, that'd be great, and we'll just uh, we'll just get out of here. Um, obviously, it's not going to happen, but I don't know the nature of these talks. <laughs> I don't know what he wants to have happen, um, but we'll see. Uh, uh, Things can't, well, things can get a lot worse than what they are now, but they're pretty bad now. I mean, there's basically hundreds of people being killed every day. Um, and apparently, we don't have the answer. Uh, you know, Saddam had an answer for it. He seemed to uh, rule that country um, pretty well. He had a few problems with genocide and, you know... Uh, massacring, you know, tens of thousands of people. But other than that, he seemed to do a pretty good job. Um, and believe me, I'm not trying to trivialize that. Um, he was an awful man in that respect. Uh, but would Ahmadinejad do much better? I don't know. I don't know what he's going to offer us. Anyway, back to my point here. He's got a block. So, I was reading this and I said uh, to myself, you know, I don't know if this is really him. Could be anybody, you know. It says it's in, it says it's him. And he goes into, and it's not really, as I read this, it's not exciting enough to be fake. <laughs> um, but it's not exactly boring either. I mean, it rings true. Um... So if this really is him, it, that'd be fascinating. So what I did was I, they have a little thing where you can respond in here to President Ahmadinejad. So I did. I, I said to him, I said, I disagree with a lot with, you know, what, you, what you're doing and what you stand for and all this stuff. But you know what? If this is really your blog, I, I, um, I disagree with you in respect, with respect. Uh, that you're just answering people that write to you and so on and so forth. But I said, I said, I don't know if this is really you. So, um, what I encouraged him to do was get a YouTube account. That way, you know, we could see him talking to us and we would know that was him. And uh, he'd probably have to get an interpreter because I don't, I don't believe he speaks English. I don't believe he speaks it very well. 
But this could be like a new thing for like world leaders, you know? Uh, you know, if Castro wasn't uh, feeling so poorly, maybe he'd get a YouTube account too and kind of address some of the things. You know, I'd like to hear his account of, you know, when they came over on the grandma from, uh, from Mexico and invaded Santiago in the southern part of Cuba and how that all went and like kind of hear him recount that. Um, and then uh, how he fixed, you know, he basically took over Cuba, fixed a few things, but then brought the country right back to uh, the dismal condition that it is today. Um, you know, how he feels about that. I'd like to just hear from his heart, you know. And Fidel, if you're listening to this, um, you know, I'd like you, you to, uh, you know, maybe you get a YouTube account as well. And uh, that, that'd be fascinating also. And if not you, maybe you, Raul. Um, you're kind of next in line. And, you know, Fidel, like I said, he's feeling poorly these days and not doing so well health-wise. I don't think he's on a laptop right now. But if you could kind of respond, that'd be great. That'd be a good medium for you to, like, you know, communicate with us. Let us know what's going on in there. You know, we hear a lot of things from, uh, about Cuba. You know, a lot from the people that come over for, um, you know, in the rafts and stuff, uh, and land in, uh, you know, Miami, uh, but, uh, or end up in Miami, I mean, they land in the Keys. Uh, so if you might, you know, I think it'd be good to hear from you as well. Who else could we hear? Kim Young, is that how you say it? Kim Young 2? Be good to hear from you. If you're listening, I think it'd be hilarious to hear, you know, try to kind of get the axis of evil on here and see, you know, are you guys really as evil as everybody makes you out to be? Maybe, maybe not. Why don't you kind of address the world population here with YouTube? I think you got an account out there. I mean, you can get an account. You have internet access out there, right? You're not that isolated. So, and I don't mean to lump you all in the same bucket, you know. I don't think that's fair either. You're very different people. Uh, you know, Mr. Ahmadinejad, Ahmadinejad, I'm so sorry I have trouble with your name. I don't know what it is. I just can't get that out. Ahmadinejad, Mr. Ahmadinejad. I'm not even sure if your first name is Muhammad. I think that's what it is. Um, you're very much different than Fidel Castro. Fidel is an atheist and you are a devout Muslim, okay? And Kim Jong, Kim Jong too, I don't know what you are. I think you're a nutcase. Um, but I could be wrong. You know, I could just be judging you by your hairstyle alone. I don't mean to. Um, but <laughs> you look kind of funny. But that's all right. You know, you might have some good thoughts. I've never heard any. But that doesn't mean you don't have any. It just means you're not communicating with us. So, uh, anyway, one of you guys uh, is listening... Uh, send me an email or do a video post because uh, I think it would be fascinating to hear from any of you. And it's not just for you three. Um, you know, President Bush, if you would like to respond, I'd like to hear from you. I mean, this is open to, you know, free market economies as well. Um, you know, leaders of free market economies. I, I don't mean to uh, discriminate in that way. I just think it'd be interesting, interesting to hear from some of the leaders of these countries that are, how can I put it, a bit restrictive. I think it'd be good to hear from you. And uh, so I look forward to we'll see what happens here. That'd be hilarious if I got a video response to this from one of you guys. Then you want to talk about my hits going through the roof? No longer would I be getting 5 to 20 hits on my, my lousy videos. We'd be in the millions. So, anyway, you can help me out too. All right? All right. Take care, you guys. Good night.